hello everyone so today we are going to implement flying for this snake now it's a dragon not a snake anymore so so we are going to implement flying mechanics as you can see here this is how it flies so this is what we are going to get at the end of the episode So we are going to change how these boxes change their locations and of course the movement mechanics and add flying inputs into our character. okay okay so far what we have implemented is this snake can only walk on ground so next thing I want to implement is flying ability so if you remember I implemented this using uh, the third person character as the parent so that I was lazy so I, did, I didn't want to implement inputs and everything from scratch so, so I simply made a child from third person character and removed the mesh and that's why you can still see this capsule as well I just removed the mesh and added the tail that's what I did so and also the snake can eat these boxes and get longer too so what i want to do next is enabling flying so for that here let's see how the inputs are implemented oh it's with enhanced input action so i'll add the fly up and down input first uh, here actions I look I move so this is uh, 2d axis all right so I let input input action I a uh, fly this is also needs to be uh, well 1d axis because it can either fly up or down so so I apply and in the IMC default I need to edit I fly so just like this one I'll add shift and so this is this would be flying upward so no need to add any modifiers and another key control left control so this should be fly downward so I'll add negate so it will give minus one when i press ctrl and when i press left shift i will have plus one in the ia fly input now here i'll add a fly input action so here we have the action value uh, wait a second let me quickly check the parent character this is move so I think I can just modify this moment input itself 
Uh, no, no, no. It's no need. No need here. In the triggered add moment input where direction is upward the scale value is this and we should be flying in order to apply this vertical moment otherwise we will not get it so What if I set this leaf for the land moment mode to fly? Yeah, now when I press shift, the character is moving up. Very simple. Shift more go up, control go down. Okay, now the only problem is uh, when I move down, character is not actually looking downward and it gets stuck. So it would be better if the character is looking upward yeah when i move up so how can we implement that all right let's come back to the tick now uh, i'll add yeah here i'll add a part to rotate the head So dragon head is this component and here I set local relative rotation. So in order to look up and down all I need to change is this your component. Ah oh, no not your roll pitch yo. What we need to change is this one. Roll. Okay, so to do that, I'll promote this to a function align head. So I'll get relative rotation split we don't need to change any of the other rotations only roll and we need to love roll to I think something like 65 would 60 degrees minus or plus would be the maximum value and that should be based on the fly and protection value so if this is greater than zero that means character is trying to move up so when the character is trying to move up so if this is greater that means a fly value is greater than zero in that case the head should look up in order to look up we should give minus value so maximum should be something like minus 60. if not we need to check if this is less than 
uh, zero this is a negative value that means we are trying to fly down select fly down means we need to look down so positive value right now otherwise we should keep looking straight forward so zero, something like 0 0.05 should be enough okay now this part is executing here let's see okay so when we look up character is looking like that hold on why is it it does have a no why was it looking like that This is wrong. This arrow represents the character forward, but the head is looking this way. So that means we need to have minus 90. So we need to have minus 90 here as well. Okay, now I think if we make it a little bit slower, that should look good. Okay, now the next thing is uh, the boxes are not rotating. So if we can fix that as well, this should look good. How can we do that? Mm. What if I use the rotation of the head here? I think that would work. Yeah, instead of getting the actor transform, get the dragon head, get world transform. and use that oh no that's not a good idea it works but when the character looks some other direction uh, that also changes the box rotations So, what if we keep the 
it's unchanged and for the rotation now we can keep this but we need to change how we set the rotation of other boxes let's try something like this we can access the locations from this one break access location and this is the target break get the location then we can do uh, find look at rotation this is the start let's interchange this this is the target and break split split set the direction like this uh, rotation like this let's see what happens now yeah that works better see when we go upward the boxes do change in a more sensible way Okay, I think we can stop this episode right here. So, thanks for watching. As always, Project Files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patron Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.